Hi there. Now in this question we're given that 5 sine theta equals 2 cos theta and asked to find the value of tan theta for one mark. And then in the second part solve for x greater than or equal to 0 but less than 360 degrees the equation 5 sine 2x equals 2 cos 2x giving you answers to one decimal place for five marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already just give you a moment as usual to pause the video. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. So for part A we've got 5 sine theta then equals 2 cos theta and for one mark well this has got to be easy and indeed it is because all we've got to do is divide first of all both sides by cos theta. If we do that we're going to have 5 sine theta divided by cos theta equals simply 2. And sine theta divided by cos theta is tan theta. So we therefore have 5 tan theta equals 2. And if I divide both sides now by 5 you'll end up with tan of theta equals 2 fifths. Okay. Now for part b then we've got to solve this equation. 5 sine 2x equals 2 cos 2x. So how do we do that? Well let's just put down part b first of all and copy down our equation. 5 sine 2x then equals 2 cos 2x. Now you can see that it resembles what we had up here. Only theta is now 2x. So what we're going to end up with is tan of 2x then equals 2 fifths. So we take it from there. So therefore tan of the angle 2x equals 2 fifths. And to get 2x here we take the inverse tan of both sides. So 2x equals then the inverse tan of 2 fifths. Now at this next stage what I like doing is always sketching a quadrant diagram. I find it a lot easier than working off a graph. So I'm assuming you're familiar with quadrant diagrams. If not you can always check them out in my tutorials on my website. This is 0 degrees. This would be 90 degrees, 180, 270, back home to 360 degrees. Turning in an anti-clockwise sense is positive. Okay, it gives us angles between naught and 360 degrees. And tangent is positive because we want a positive value here. It's positive in the first quadrant, this one here, and the third quadrant, this one here. So what we do is we draw a line equally inclined to the horizontal line here, marking these two angles as being exactly the same. And starting from here, turning in an anti-clockwise sense to the first blue line, this is our first possible solution for the angle 2x. There's another one from here all the way round to here. And that would be a possible value for 2x. Now it doesn't stop there, even though it might look as if our angles are between 0 and 360 degrees. You've got to be careful with things like this. We want x to be greater than or equal to 0 but less than 360 degrees. But we're interested here in the angle 2x so what we do is we double each of these three values. Doubling 0 will just give us 0. Doubling the x gives us 2x and doubling 360 degrees gives us 720 degrees. So what we've got to do is not only get these first two values but we can afford to add a further 360 degrees onto them so that we turn another complete turn. I'll show you as we progress anyway. So what we do here is we inverse tan 2 fifths and that's going to be our first possible value for 2x and it turns out to be 21 point 
eight, zero, and so on degrees. Okay, this angle in here, this little blue angle, will be 21.80 and so on degrees. And we can use that to get the green 2x just by simply doing 180 degrees plus a further 21.80 degrees. And if you do that, you get 201.80 and so on degrees. Okay, now if we go back to this one, okay, turn 21.80 degrees but then carry on round again okay that'll be another 360 degrees added on to this one so that gives us 381.80 and so on degrees and similarly if we turn to the green one and carry on another 360 degrees add 360 degrees to this you get 561 Point eight zero and so on degrees and now we divide each of these by 2 to give us x and so you're going to get 10.90 and so on 100.90 and so on 190.90 and so on and finally if we divide this by 2 we get 280 0.90 and so on and all of these are measured in degrees and we've got to give our answers to one decimal place so if we give them all to one decimal place we're going to have 10.9 degrees 100.9 degrees there and then 190.9 degrees and finally 280.9 degrees and they're all to one decimal place, one DP. All right?